In this video, we're going to show you how to download your data from the Fluke Energy Analyze Plus software. The first step is to click on the Download Data button. Here we see some files which are in the instrument. These are highlighted in red because they were previously downloaded. We'll select this file and then click on Download. This indicates that the file has been saved before and gives us a choice to save it as a different name. In this case, we'll keep the same name and we'll see what happens when we do that. We press Save and it asks if you're sure you want to overwrite it. And in this case, we will. Here's the data that we've downloaded. This is a summary of each of the settings on the instrument. Here are the measurement settings, which indicate when the log data began and when it ended. This is useful for putting into a report later. We can now look at some data in the Energy Study tab. This is the RMS power, which is trended over this period. We can see it as a total or by each individual phase by selecting each of these checkboxes. Next, we can look at demand. Here we can see the energy in kilowatt hours. Next, we can go to the calendar view. This shows the data as a set of thumbnails, either by hour, the day, or the week. This is a good way to see the rhythm of a plant, since each week or day represents a similar kind of pattern while the data is being collected. Next, we have the fundamental power without harmonics. This is the voltage, current, frequency, and total harmonic distortion. We can mix and match these values onto the same graph using the graph options over here. We can select the values by using the tabs. This graph shows the trend of whatever values we choose. Here's a line trend across the screen. We can put cursors on it and make measurements to see exactly what the value is in various particular points. If we open this tab, we can also see the summary. This shows us what the minimum, maximum, and average voltage was during the period for each of the measured values. Voltage, current, frequency, total harmonic distortion for voltage, total harmonic distortion for current, and then the imbalance. Let's open the graph again. We can select a range that we're interested in here. We go to the set time range, and now we can see just a portion of the graph and that gives us a second overview section here. This again shows the minimum, maximum, and average values for each of the phases and each of the measured values. This data, rather than applying to the whole measurement, only applies to the values shown between these two cursors. Those are the main controls within any of the screens of Energy Analyze Plus software, and that's how you download the recorded data.